There's RPM actors returning for Beast Morphers? You guessed right. Find out who in a minute. Yo, what's up guys? It's the here. Welcome back to another video. I am so glad to be here for you guys. I am back now with over 25,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. E-Squad for life. They're just gonna put the E-Squad a comment of the day right, right already because I love you guys so much. Today's a special video because we're gonna talk about a special RPM crossover that is happening with the Power Rangers Beast Morphers in the second season. Now in a previous video, I have talked about a Dino crossover with Dino Thunder, Mighty Morphin, and uh, like, uh, Dino Charge and Beast Morphers. That's coming up soon. But that's a completely different crossover, completely different video because today, there's an RPM crossover, and there's so much to talk about. I'm so excited to talk about it. 250 likes for more. I'm in love with you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for 25,000. I got hella new videos coming. I got, you know what? Here's a clip. Transition. And I just got more. Here's another clip. Are you recording? There's just a lot of clips going around, and I'm just so excited for all the new content I'm going to give you guys. So let's just talk about it. Power Rangers, Beast Morphers, RPM. This is, this is Cray. She trying to be cray. They trying to be cray. Now, some context before I begin. As you know, uh, Go Busters. You know that it's 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 basically RPM, the Sentai version. There's the virus. Virus goes big. There's Rangers. They gotta stop it. That's basically RPM in Japanese. That's Go Busters. And now we're getting Go Busters in America after how many years? Seven. Power Rangers Beast Morphers, and it's following the same plot. The, the virus, Evox, is out to destroy the world. There's a new team of rangers here to save it. But this is different from RPM because supposedly it's in the same universe as the rest of the Power Rangers shows. So this is in the same universe, right? I, I guess. I haven't watched Beast Morphers a lot. I'm sorry. Please expose me. So as soon as the show started, people automatically pointed comparisons to Power Rangers RPM. And, you know, everyone's like, yo, we got to get that RPM crossover, baby. Everyone's like, yo, we need to go Busters, go Andre crossover. You never got it because the shows are completely different because go Andre was talking cars cartoon talking cars and rpm was death serious death so people just wanted an rpm beast morphers crossover and guess what guys we're finally getting it i gotta put on my hat for this one. Oh no we are finally getting that cross should i put my hat like this is this funky enough for you guys? Whoa. It has been confirmed that RPM actors will be returning for Power Rangers Beast Morphers. One of those actors is the amazing Olivia Tennant, who will return as Dr. K. If you don't remember Dr. K from RPM, have you even watched RPM? Come on. She was the scientist that made the RPM suits and the morphing grid, but it's that that version, their version of morphing grid, the, the grid. I don't know if I forgot what it's called. Basically, they made the suits, and she hates it when you call it spandex, because it's not spandex, guys. Let's make sure we get this clear. Um, but yeah, Dr. K, one of the greatest characters, she, I guess, is in love with Ziggy. I guess that's how they ended off. They dated in real life, but they broke up, sadly. Rest, that sucks. But yeah, Dr. K, amazing character, loved her in RPM, fantastic. Um, it's Cray. It is Cray, guys. So we already got her, but we got another actor that's coming back. We got... The amazing James Galen. I hope I pronounced that right. To return as Colonel Truman in Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Colonel Truman, of course, Scott's dad. He wanted him to be just like his brother, who's who's not with us no more. Rest in peace. Scott's brother. RPM, that's a fictitious show. No one's actually dead. And it's just great. It's great to see Colonel Truman back. And it's great because Colonel Truman, great character. He was very rough on Scott at first, but later on in the series, he uh, got more comfortable with him being a Power Ranger. And it's just, it's just crazy. So we just got those two returning actors so far. There may be more coming back. Even if we don't get the actual RPM team physically, we can always have their voice actors come back. If you don't remember Clash of the Red Rangers, the Power Ranger Samurai crossover episode with RPM, we only got one Ranger back, even though they adapted the Shin Kendra Gohanger movie. So we did get the R Red RPM Ranger back, but not his actor. So if anything, we can get the actors back to come voice act their roles. Now, we know Dr. K's role was going to be in this episode. Of course, the Beast Morphers are fighting Evox, so Dr. K has some knowledge on fighting viruses like Vengex. 
Um, so I'm just kind of confused how she's going to get there, how she's going to notice that this is happening, and what she's going to do to stop it. Colonel Truman, on the other hand, I really don't have a clue what he could be doing here. Of course, he's the leader of Corinth, and he has some leadership. He can probably go there and teach uh, the Rangers a lesson about leadership. I don't have any clue. I really don't. And you know, this the thing is about this crossover is that RPM and Beast Morphers are two different series in terms of tone. Um, RPM, I've seen RPM as more of a, not really dark, but a more edgier version of Power Rangers. That's uh, widely said amongst fans here. Um, it's different. It's really a different show. It's not like Mighty Morphin or any type of other cheesy, regular Power Rangers show. It's different. It's in its own universe. It has its own tone. It's a very darker tone. I'm kind of worried how that's going to mix with the Beast Morphers tone because what I've seen from Beast Morphers, that's more of a, you know, back to a regular show. Not as cheesy as it is in the past because there's some, you know, serious lessons to be taught, some uh, dilemmas that we have um, in the show that is uh, not like Power Rangers to do. Um, but I just want to know how those two clones or tones are going to clash with each other, especially with Dr. K and Colonel Truman returning, uh, and hopefully more Rangers returning also. Um, there's so much to be told here. Uh, we did get Gemma back for the Dimensions and Danger crossover, so it is possible for RPN Rangers to return if they're available. Um, depends. Some actors are on different shows. Um, the girl who played the Yellow Ranger, she was on iZombie, which is over now, so who knows. Um, it's all up in the air on who's returning and who's not. But the important thing is that we are getting an RPM crossover, which RPM, you know, besides it being a different universe, doesn't really get much love. And I woke up at 5 p.m., not 5 p.m., 5 a.m. to watch the show on ABC Kids. So I'm glad to see those characters return, see how they're doing after years and years. We didn't get much from Gemma. You know, she was from a different universe, so we don't know how Corinth is after. So hopefully, well, we did have Super Mega Force, but let's not talk about that. So hopefully we'll get some info on how Corinth's like today. Um, I'm very excited for this crossover. Hope you guys are too. I'm SD the Gamer. What do you guys think about this crossover? What's going to happen next? Um, this is crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And thank you so much for the love and support. I'm SD the Gamer. Have a great day. And of course, and as always, put it on the half of this one. I look so ugly in hats. Stay awesome, everybody.